I'm Sam Style and this is a breakdown of my R&B record. I'm from the north of England. I'm signed to APG. I've worked on Timber for Pitbull and Kesha, Full Rider, I Don't Like It, I Love It, Fast and Furious 7 soundtrack, and a bunch of mixtape stuff. I'm gonna break down this record here, Killing the Miles Broken Hearted. I met Killing the Miles over here in Atlantic, Hollywood. I had already made this beat prior. I went in there and I just knew this was the vibe. That would be so great for them. I played this beat and then everyone was just like, yes, vibing out to it. The writers, Raja and Cam Parker, went in, did their, their thing. They took turns, so Raja went in first, did a bunch of melodies, ideas and stuff, and then Cam was just sitting smiling on top of the, he was sitting on top of like a desk. And he's looking at me and he's smiling away, he's singing something to himself. He wasn't letting anyone else hear it, and then I was like, he's got it. He went in there and he did the chorus section. The, you're broken hearted, baby. And then everyone tweaked the lyrics together, and then Miles put down his verses and Kaelin cut all his parts. Then we brought the session files over to here. And then I put them in Fruit Loops. Cam came up with the melody of the bump, 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 bump. There was a whistle originally, we tried something else, and then in the end we ended up using the tall box. And all the tall box on this record is me actually recorded right here. So it was the percussion actually, the percussion's in here too. It was all cut right in this room. I started this beat actually with the tall box. I was just messing around with that. And I had a melody that I really liked. It's a melody that I've used in other records that haven't been placed. I didn't really refine the melody to how it is. It's a lot more simplified, which I think makes it more catchier. So that's like the main melody. And then I have in these extra parts, which is an oh yeah and an ooh. And then I built up a co-progression around that to see what felt right. And this is the progression that I ended up with. The beginnings, the chords in the melody with a clap on, on the downbeat. And then on the second half, I bring in these chords right here, which is just the same as the organ chords, but sustained. And they have like a kind of a pitch glide on the start of them, so they have like a womp kind of sound. It adds like a... I want the record to feel like pushing and pulling and sucking. Sucking you in. This is one of my favorite beats I've made. It's because of the drum pattern in this record. I don't have a kick hit on the downbeat on the one. So everything comes on the, the off. So it's like, woo, do 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 and uh, it's carried by 808s, which I'm bending a lot too. And the percussion is a tambourine, which I cut right, right here in this room. But if you listen, there's n nothing on the downbeats. And in there, the progression here on the verse stays um, a lot more straight. I don't follow the progression that I have in the intro and what also is the pre and chorus. The verse kind of carries a more mono tone kind of pattern and then have a different turnaround to resolve it each time around. That was to make the verses feel a lot more harder and like rap, I guess. I wanted to be more edge there. This is actually the tambourine. I love this tambourine. It sounds so great on the record. And then uh, typical effects and stuff in here. Um, a little guitar part is comes in and out on the end of the verses. The chorus is just an evolved version of this pre now. The cutoff filter is fully open, so everything's coming through. I now actually do put a kick on the downbeat because if it was kind of anticlimactic when the chorus came in and there wasn't anything there, so having the kick carried the energy. And that was the first look into behind the scenes of Broken Hearted. Oh yeah.